This video will cover the six basic concepts with the Affinia software. Loading a model, positioning it, changing its orientation, changing its size, printing multiple models at once, and adjusting print settings. Loading a model. Open the Affinia software. Open the file you'd like to print by clicking the open icon at the top of the page. Select your STL, UP3, or UPP file to open the file. We'll choose the extruder head cover. Positioning a model. In this instance, you can see that the model is outside of the build platform. There are four methods you can use to position a model correctly on the platform. The first and easiest method is to enable the Auto Place option under the File menu. The software will automatically center the model and place it on the print surface when you open the file. The second method is to click the Place button. This will center the model on the platform and position the model at the surface of the platform rather than floating above. The third method is to click the Move icon, which will become highlighted when it is active. To move the model, click on the axis you would like to move along. The fourth and final method is to hold the Control button on the keyboard, while left-clicking and dragging on the model. This allows you to position the model wherever you would like it on the platform. Once a model opens in the Affinia software, you can decide if you'd like to change its orientation within the print envelope. Among other purposes, this adjustment may reduce the amount of support material that is required. To change the orientation of the model, select the model and it will turn pink. Then click the Rotate button. By default, the model will rotate 90 degrees, but you can change the angle using the drop-down control. To rotate the model on a different axis, select it using the axis buttons. In this orientation, the model would require a lot of support material. If we rotate the model by clicking the x-axis icon three times, this position will require the least amount of support material. Once you are satisfied with the orientation of the model, it's always a good idea to click the Place button to make sure the model is centered and positioned correctly at the surface of the platform. If you'd like, you can make your model larger or smaller by clicking the Scale button and entering a percentage. You can also scale the model along specific axes, but not others. Simply click the axis which you would like to make smaller or larger. If you want a mirror image of the model, select negative 1.0 mirror and click the axis that you want to be the surface of the mirror. In this case, we'll use the y-axis. The Affinia 3D software allows you to print multiple models on the platform at the same time. Once you have a model loaded, create multiple copies by right-clicking the model, moving the cursor to insert copy and clicking the number of copies you'd like to make. These are separate models, indicated by each turning pink when selected. In this case, they are too close to each other to be printed individually. The rafts would overlap and cause issues during printing. At this point, you have two options. You can choose to click Place and the models will be moved in a way that you won't have to worry about overlapping. Each model would be then be printed separately. The other option is to keep all of the models close to each other and tell the software to print it as one model, having one raft. To do this, click the Edit menu and select the Merge option. OK, we are doing great so far and now it's time to print. Uh, but first, let's make sure we have a preheated build platform. We can do this by either selecting Table, Preheat 15 minutes in the 3D Print menu, or, more preferably, by selecting Table Heat 1 hour in the Maintenance window. The Maintenance window will tell us the temperature of the platform as it heats. Once at the optimal temperature, you can close the maintenance window. Once you have your model loaded, oriented, and scaled, click the Print icon. Click the Preferences button. Here you'll be able to select the Z resolution, infill, and support attributes of your model. If you're not sure what to select, hit Restore Defaults. This will go to a factory setting which works well for most models. Once completed, press OK. We have a few more options to choose. You can speed up the printing by going to Quality and selecting Fast, or get a nicer print by selecting Fine. We found that it works best to set to Normal. If you plan on printing another model right after this one finishes, click on Heat Platform After Finish and select a time from the drop-down menu. This will keep the platform hot and ready for another print. When printing with a perf board, always keep the No Raft unchecked. You also have the option to pause the printing process at specific heights. 
This is especially handy if you'd like to switch filament colors. Simply put in a series of numbers in millimeters with commas separating them and the system will pause at each of those numbers and allow you to change the filament. Once you've set your preferences, click OK. On the bottom left you will see the software slicing and converting the layers. Once it gets to 273 of 273 layers, the software will start sending the prepared model to the printer, indicated by the blinking red and green light on the front of the printer. Once it finishes sending the file to the internal SD card, the printer will beep and show you the estimated amount of filament used and an estimated amount of time it will take to complete. At this time, you may disconnect the USB cord from the printer. So now you've learned the basics of how to use the Affinia 3D software. For more information, visit the support section on our website. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Affinia 3D printer.